What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys an Ambipom, Kirum, and a Lola Ninetales team for ranked regulation G. Now, when it comes to Ambipom, this Pokemon is a fan favorite of mine. I love this Pokemon so much ever since it was released in Generation 4. Ambipom, Scott Technician, with the Ghost Terror type and the Focus Ash as item. Rocket Upper Hand Protect, Triple Axle, and Fake Out. So it's got Fake Out for first turn priority flinches, and it also has Upper Hand to counter Fake Out users such as Incineroar or Rillaboom. Absolutely love this Pokemon. Hopefully we get to use it up and grab some wins for you guys. But like I mentioned, our restricted Pokemon on today's team going to be Kieran White. This Pokemon is super strong, especially paired up with Alolan Ninetales. This Kiram over here has Turbo Blades with the Choice Specs as his item, the Ice Terror type with Blizzard, Draco Meteor, Freeze Dry, and Fusion Flare. Lola Ninetales is going to be our Weather Setter and our Aurora Bell Setter. Everybody knows how strong Aurora Bell is, so if we can get Ninetales on the field, we're going to set that Aurora Bell and help bulk up the rest of the squad. Our final three Pokemon on today's team feature Skelly Dirge, Fluttermane, and Rollboom. Rollboom great for terrain control. Skelly Dirge, a solid special attacker with Will O Wisp to actually burn some physical attackers. And Fluttermane is Fluttermane, one of the best Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing this Ambipom and Kiram White team. In all honesty, this video is going to be tough. I'm sitting top 500 on the master tier, and we're now this high up using an off meta team. We're gonna be going up against good players with meta teams. This is gonna be a tough video. Hopefully we can at least grab ourselves a win or two. That would be awesome. But we're going up against an Ice Rider Calyrex semi trick room team. I mean, they got Raging Bolt, they got Indeedee, Urshifu, Pelipper, and last but not least, Clefairy. So again, kind of half trick room. Half not. Um, who should we go into here? Fluttermane's not bad, especially with that booster energy to boost speed. Um, that could be pretty good. I could see them leading in DD and Calyrex, which could be a little bit of a problem for us. I could go straight into like a Pokemon like you. You are not bad at all. I can always roar swap some Deotic and Willow Wisp physical attackers. That's pretty good for us. Um, I could go into weather as well. Emmy Palm's not gonna be that good, especially if they do go into uh if they do end up going into, what is that Pokemon? I can't even think of it. Ice Rider Calyrex. Um, but I think I'm just gonna go Rillaboom here with Kieran White with Nine Tails in the back end and then Fluttermane. I think that's our best option. And the reason I don't want to lead Fluttermane is because it gets just hard swap Pelipper. But maybe I should have just led Fluttermane. Or not Fluttermane, Nine Tails. Maybe I should have make him forced to swap that so we don't get off a War Bill. That could have been pretty good. And then we could have just attacked. I don't know. Let's see who they end up leading here. It's going to be Calyrex and Didi. It's going to be Urshifu and Indeed. Okay, so Urshifu and Didi come out here. I don't mind this. I mean, I got Volvoom on the field. We can't fake out. Actually, we might be able to. This. Okay, never mind. I was going to say, does Indeedee's train come out here first? And it does not. My train is going to pop out here first. I might just hit that Terra button. I might just hit that Terra button with Kieran. Huh. What is my play here? What is my player? Because I could go Terra and then go into a Freeze Dry. I mean, Freeze Dry is going to work wonders. Um, we don't want to fake out here. I think we just go into a Freeze Dry here. And we just U-turn Pivot out of here. That's going to be my play. Honestly, Earth might just attack or might even swap out. So we'll see how this one plays out here. Maybe we should double down into a DD. I'm pretty sure I know their team. Their team's got to be in DD, Urshifu, Calyrex, Pelipper, right? It just makes the most sense. But we're going to see a hard swap here. Turn one. And he's going to go into Pelipper here, maybe. It is going to be Pelipper. So he's trying to read our swap. But we're actually U-turn swapping. So this could be good for us. This could be really good for us. He's going to end up going into a Terror type onto Urshifu. And it seems like it's got to be a, a Ghost Terror, right? No, it's going to be straight water. So he wants to damage. He wants to damage. I think he thinks I'm swapping in for nine tails. I wonder who he's attacking here. Free Strike's gonna fly here. It is gonna go into the Urshifu slot and bring you down to one HP, which is kind of sad. <laughs> it's kind of sad. You got the Focus Ash. I really wanted to KO there. But he's gonna end up popping certain strikes going into what slot? Into the Kieran White slot, which we're gonna be able to soak all day. So this isn't bad. This isn't bad because we're gonna be able to get weather and then I think we could just get off a War Bell here. It should really benefit us. We already showed that we can outspeed, which is good for us. I'm going to be able to U-turn pivot out here. So not bad. Not bad for us so far. Not bad for us. We are going to take a little bit of Rocky Helmet damage, but that's fine because now we can get out the weather that we want. 
it seems like we got some speed going. Um, we're definitely gonna set up Rory Bell this turn. And for Kiram, you are outspeeding the Urshfield. I wonder if you outspeed the Pelipper. I wonder if you do outspeed the Pelipper, because I just want to go into a Blizzard this turn, more so than a Freeze Dry. What's your guys' speed? Let's check out the speeds. So you're 170. You guys both should be faster than everybody on the field. Obviously, not Aqua Jet, but still, I think we can just go. Oh, no, we're choosing a Freeze Dry. We are choosing to a Freeze Dry. I think we just go straight after you. I think we just take out Pelipper, because there is a chance that he detects this turn. Let me just go for an Aurora Bell setup. And he is going to detect. So good call on RN. Great call on RN. So he's going to detect here. We're going to be able to pop a Roar Bell. More importantly, Freeze Dry should outspeed Pelipper. And it will be four times super effective. And it should just KO him, right? Yep, beautiful. Bye-bye, Pelipper. We got weather for the rest of the match. You're not going to be able to set that rain. So that's a really good turn for us. That's a big time turn for us. We swapped Robum at the right time. Honestly, them reading Pelipper was really tough for him. We are killing it so far. So Indeed is gonna fly out here. Gonna keep that terrain. Um I wish I could go for Blizzard here. Actually, I can. I can end up hard swapping Kirim if I want to. We're just gonna go into freeze dry in this slot, and we're just gonna switch to Blizzard with you and look for another KO. So he ends up with Jaw in here. So it seems like he wants to go for obviously Ice Rider Kyler, set up Trick Room. That seems like their plan here. And I mean go ahead, go straight for it. Be my guess. Be my guess. Blizzard's gonna fire. Give me a freeze on Indeedee. Give me a little freeze on Indeedee. Nope. And then we're gonna go for freeze right here. Doing some nice damage. Almost picking up the KO. And there's Trick Room. So now things are getting a little dicey here. We got low HP Indeedee. We got low HP Urshfu. Calyrex is the scary one, right? By far the scary one. Um, We have Fire Terror for you. We have Ice Terror for you. We might want to save our Terror type for Real Boom here, right? We definitely just want to save our tire type for Real Boom. Definitely going to go into a freeze right here. Um, do we just protect? I mean, we have a War Bell, which is really good. I think we just protect and we waste out some turns here. If Kirim dies, Kirim dies. I think it's all about wasting turns right now. Yeah, it's all about wasting turns. We're just gonna try to waste out some turns. So we got the War Bell out. They got Trick Room up, but this Calor can stack attacks really quickly, right? And stack attack boosts really quickly, which is the scary part about Calor. So out come Glacial Lance. We actually survived that. And he's gonna go for a Psychic. We act. That's massive that we survived that because now I can waste another turn and you don't get that attack boost so easily. That War Bell helping us out tremendously. That's why I said in the beginning of today's video, War Bell, so good. It's so good. Screens of War Bell are just a team's best friend. So we get rid of you. We will have Rollaboom ready to go for fake outs, all that good stuff. Um, and from here, again, we'll just try to go for free strike, try to finish you off. And if I can, um, might as well just go into Moonblast. Do I double down into the Urshfu slot here? I think so. I think so. I think we gotta get rid of Urshfu. Glacial Land's gonna fly through here. My only problem here is going to be how much damage is this Surgeon Strikes gonna do? That's that's my question. You better not take out my Nine Tails. You better not take out my Nine Tails. Surgeon Strikes gonna fly here. Do not take out my Nine Tails. How much damage are we doing? I think we soaked that. I think we soaked that. 89 HP. Yeah, that only did 40 damage. We do soak it. Okay, cool. Beautiful. So we soak that. We go for a moon blast. We're going to finish you off. All right. So now I can bring out Robum. I can have terrain control. I can fake out this turn. I can protect next turn. I still have Terra, which is awesome for us. Big time news for us. And the snow is done. So we still have Fluttermane. We're waiting for the Trick Room to end. I believe we have how many turns left in Trick Room? Maybe two? Maybe two? We're trying. We're trying to get after it. This is just annoying me. So honestly, this thing is just so powerful. This Calyrex is just ridiculously strong. Okay, so for Trick Room turns, there is two, which is good because we can fake out this turn and kind of kind of go from there. They don't have Terra anymore, so we don't have to worry about that. So we're just going to fake out this turn. And then we're going to go for a Moonblast, if we can. Nice, lovely Moonblast. So Calyrex ends up protecting. 
From here, we're just gonna protect and terrestrialize our Roboom. And look to get off a free U-turn pivot shot. That's fine by me. So how much damage would U-turn do? Would Woodhammer do more? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think U-turn does more. Super effective. It's not stab though. That's my problem. Actually, would Woodhammer do more? Woodhammer's neutral. Alright, let's do the math here. So it's stab because it's at 1.5 times multiplier. Plus we have terrain. Woodhammer actually probably does more damage. We have to terrestrialize him. Woodhammer probably does more damage. And we get to stay on the field. So you know what? We're going to go for Woodhammer here. We're going to go for Woodhammer. We're just going to protect here. We are going into a fire terror because chances are they are going for Glacial Lance. So if we could soak up a Glacial Lance, which I think we definitely should be able to. I know he's plus one, but we have a War Veil. It's going to be not very effective. And we'll go from there. And then after this, Trick Room will be done. So I'm hoping Woodhammer can just do a massive chunk of damage, right? That's my hope. So we protect Ninetales, wasting out this Trick Room, and we're playing really good with this team. We really are. And there's the Glacial Lance. Great read on my end again. So we made two great reads in this battle. One was going to be the, the Detect on Earth to take out Pelipper, and two's going to be this one right here. So we soak that, no problem. Woodhammer gonna fly. This should do way more than half. Just about half. And now Trick Room is over, which is the biggest thing, right? It is the biggest thing, because now I can go into a Moonblast. I can go into a... Uh, I go into another wood hammer. And what does do more damage? This would just be double damage with no stabs. So that'd be 140. This does more damage. Wood hammer does more damage. We just don't pivot. But from here, we go Moonblast, we go Wood Hammer. That should finish off the battle. He's just gonna protect get some HP, so he's trying here. He's trying. I mean, is that last turn in terrain? I don't think so. I think we have a few more turns left in terrain, which is huge for us. If terrain ends, that's a big time protect from him. That's a big time protect, but slowly my Ninetales is getting back HP, which is awesome. My Ninetales slowly going up. It was at like 9, now it's at 36. Roboom gets back a little bit. Talors gets back a little bit. And how many turns are left in this train? Two. That's plenty. One turn left in a War Veil, too. But we're going to Woodhammer, we're going to Moonblast again, and hopefully that should be enough damage. I hope it's enough damage. I think that's enough damage. Yeah, Woodhammer should be able to finish this one off. Yep, let's go. Hot start for us today's video. We start off 1-0. Let's go try to use Ambipom in our second match. Ladies and gentlemen, look at my record. We are 7-1. I know what you guys are thinking. Jeans, aren't you 7-0 on a brand new season? I lagged out of the last match. One turn in, I used Fake Out with Ambipom. I lagged out. I lost the match because of that. Really hurts the soul. But we're 7-1 on the brand new season. Technically, 7-0 that last match. I'm not counting. But we are top 500 in the Master Tier right now. Absolutely killing it. But we're going up against a Coridon team. All about the sun. We have to bring in our weather control Pokemon. But they also have Hisuian Arcanine, who I haven't seen in a good bit. I do like Ambipom here, considering they have a few Dragon-type Pokemon, which Triple Axle can really just rip, especially with the speed right here. They don't have any fake-out users. They do have a few first-turn priority users, which would be Arcanine and Rage Bolt, Thunderclap, and Extreme Speed. So I'm going to lead Ambipom here. Ambipom going to get after it. We definitely want Kiram. We definitely want Ninetales. And I think Fluttermane is going to be a great option for this as well. Do I lead Kiram or Ninetales? Hmm. What is my play here? I mean, Booster Energy Fluttermane is great all around. Just such a strong Pokemon. Arcanine could be a little bit annoying. Um, I do like Fluttermane here for the lead. That is what I'm going to do here. And bring Kiram and Ninetales in the back end. But I'm so upset we lagged out of that last match. We were 7-0 in the Massive Team. 7-0. We were actually in the, like the top 250 when I started last match. And then I lagged out and now I'm back down to like 4-something. But still, top 500, that's crazy. We are lighting it up so far in Regulation G, for this season at least. Especially like us switching teams every single day. We're not using the same team, and we're still winning games. But Chiyu, Fluttermane come out here for the lead. Um, we're going to go Ambipom and Fluttermane. Um, I think I just straight up attack, right? I think I just straight up attack. Fluttermane's going to get that Protosynthesis boost. Um, we could fake out the Chiyu, but I kind of predicted going for more so a, what's it called? I could see it going for a, uh, what is it even called? I can't even think of the move. Or the Ghost Terra. I can see it going for Ghost Terra. So you know what? I'm just going to go Triple Axe on that slot. And I'm going to Terra, no, Terra Grass is going to play. I'm just going to Shadow Ball. I'm going to double down in the Fluttermane here. Double straight down in the Fluttermane. We got Booster Energy. We are cooking with speed. 
They don't go for the tarot, which kind of sucks, but we do some nice damage with the Shadow Ball. We leave you on one HP. One HP we leave you on. Focus Ash. Focus Ash and up. Amy Pom is outspeeding, which is big, so we get rid of Fluttermane. We dump on Fluttermane, no problem. We could have just faked out the Chiyu, but honestly, that worked out a little bit better. That did work out a little bit better. So there's that. Snarl is going to fly, which is okay. I mean, Amy Pom doesn't really take too kindly to that. Damage wise, and Fluttermane's gonna get a special attack drop. Alright, so we could swap Fluttermane here. It really depends who they go into. I kind of hope they go into Crydon. Because at that point, I just swap into Ninetales. And it's gonna be Arcanine here. Who's gonna intimidate me? So now, now I'm attack dropped on both ends. On both ends, I am attack dropped. Um, could do a double swap. I mean, we got some speed going. That's my, that's my, that's the only thing that's looking good for us. It's the only thing that's looking good for us. Huh. That's the thing. I want to swap, but at the same time, I don't. A 15 seconds choose. I might just sacrifice my Amy Palm here. Maybe go for first turn priority move. You might go for E speed. We're going to do that. And then, you know, we're just going to go for a Moon Blast into the slot. I hope you go for E-Speed here. Nope. We were, we were aiming for it. We were aiming for E-Speed. Does not happen. Moon Blast is still going to fly here. Do a little bit of damage. Special attack drop? No, and Heat Wave's going to pick up KO and Amy Palm. And then you're going to take out Fluttermane. Oh, man. This is not looking good for us. This one's not looking good. Maybe we should just hard swap. I don't know. But our problem here now is uh, they're just going to swap into Weather and have that Weather Control. Hmm. I just had the choice into free strike here, right? What's my play? Because Arcanine's looking terrifying. I could go into maybe like Draco Meteor, but I don't really know how to feel about Draco Meteor. Let's be honest here. I don't know how to feel about Draco Meteor. They're going to swap into Kirim. I wonder who they're going to swap, though. Maybe Chiyu? So I'd like to predict it. Maybe just get after it with free strike. Because free strike would KO Kirim, right? Pretty sure I would KO Kirim. But I'm choicing here. That's my that's my only problem. That is my only problem. I might just want to go into Draco Meteor here. And just save the ice moves for Ninetales. Huh. I'm gonna Draco Meteor down this slot. Actually. Let's trick a meter down this slot because you might want to get Intimidate again, but it really wouldn't do much. No Moon Blast this slot. Here's the Withdrawal. On to Arcanine. Trick a meter should just be able to rip into that. That could be really good for us. That could be really good for us. This will just KO you. This will just KO you unless we miss it. Unless we miss it. Moon Blast flies. Give me a special attack drop. Give it to me. We don't get it. Trick a meter. I'm going to say bye bye to Karidon. It's massive. Massive, good call on Arn. We probably could have just went for Freeze Dry. I mean, Freeze Dry probably would have did the, the work, but Freeze Dry up against these other Pokemon, just not good at all. And now Snarl on top of that. Ah, that's tough news. We're kind of, we're going to kind of need a crit here, right? We're going to kind of need a crit here. <laughs> this is just bad news for us. We have the Arcanine. Oh, we need some crits. That's the only way we win this game. It's the only way we win this game. Is a nice little critical hit. Um, I am gonna try to check out the Chi Yu. I'm hoping Draco Meteor can do it. I mean, it's stab choice spec. And we're gonna just keep Moonblasting, I guess. I mean, we could go Water Terror, which is in our best interest. Could go for Blizzard. I mean, what are we really gonna do here? <laughs> we're gonna go for the Moonblast in this slot. Hopefully, he terrestrializes. Hopefully he Terrasalize, but we're Terrasalizing our Nine Tails here. Um, hopefully this Draco Meter can just KO the Chi Yu. That could be big, but I think this Arcanine can single-handedly win this game. Unless we get some crits, right? That's the only way, because this Snarl drop really doing us dirty. We don't have a War Bell out here. Moonblast going to land. Going to do like negative five. Um, Draco Meter also going to land. Can this KO? I think it should still. It does. We get a crit. Wow, I wish I would have used that on Arcanine. We get rid of Chiyu, so it turns into a 2v1, but it still seems like they have the upper hand, right? I'm gonna go for Rock Slide. That's looking a little scary. And that dumps on Kirim. Are you choice banned? You might be choice banned. That's some damage right there. 
That's upsetting. That's some damage. And I wish I would have had Terrible S here because that would be four times effective. But yeah, we are not winning this game. I'll go for a Blizzard, but that's that, that's game. Rock Slide. That's got to be Choice Ban Arcanine. GG's to our opponent. That's going to be our first actual loss on the series or on the season, which is tough. But Blizzard is landing here. Blizzard is landing and Rock Slide's missing. Hold up. Hopefully they can miss 50 Rock Slides in a row. 50 rock sides in a row. We're missing Blizzard now. Miss another rock side. Miss another rock side. Nope. That's going to be game. So GG's to our opponent. Like I said, they played really well there. That uh, that Hisuian Arcanine was just too much power for us. Same thing with that Chiyu. Chiyu went a little, a little crazy with the Snarls. We're sitting one and one with this Ambipom team. Ambipom actually came in there, picked up a KO in match number one. Pretty big for us, but... We're into our second match, or not our second match, our third and final match, sitting one and one, going up against a Zamacenta. Now, Zamacenta, really strong Pokemon. I can't believe we're not going up against a lot of fake out users today. I feel like I go up against fake out users all the time, except for when I'm using Upper Ham Ambipom. Kind of funny that we're not, but I still want to go into Ambipom. I feel like fake out could be good. They go into a Moongus Triple Axle could be powerful as well. So, Ambipom, gonna be a great Pokemon for us. Another thing that I noticed is no weather control. And honestly, we should just go Kirim and Ninetales. We should just go Kirim Ninetales, set up a Roar Veil, kind of go that way. I like that a lot. I do like that a lot. Right? Oh, they could have Rain Dance with Sableye. Hmm, yeah, we might just want to go Ambipom here and just get after him. So I'm going to go Ambipom Flutter Meme. I think that's my play with Kirim and Ninetales at the back end. So no Skelly Dirge today. No Skelly Dirge today, but I still like where we're sitting here. Yeah, they definitely got to have Rain Dance with Sableye. There's no way you're this high up on the rank ladder and you're rocking out with no weather control. Right, weather control is just such a big factor, especially in Regulation G, where you have Groudon, Coridon, Kyogre, Pokemon to set weather like that, and who are that powerful in weather, so. I just don't see it happening. I do not see that happening. Well, let's see who they want to lead here. It's got to be Sableye, right? Sableye, maybe Samacenta? He got... It's going to be Sableye Entei. So, yeah, this definitely makes me think that you have Rain Dance. So, you got Inner Focus rocking out with uh, Entei. Um, Fluttermane's going to get that nice little big booster energy. And he might just fake out my Ambipom. I might just protect Ambipom here. I could tear a ghost with Ambipom. That ain't a bad play. I can't upper hand you because you are a ghost, which is kind of weird. Um, hmm. I'm going to go tear a ghost and just triple axle you. Yeah, I like that the best. I'm going to do that on top of a Moon Blast. Or do I just Shadow Ball you? I'm going to Shadow Ball this, Entei. I'm gonna go right after Sente. So I'm gonna go Terra with Ambipom. Look to dodge fake out. And I feel like Sableye can just do a lot. Right? Sableye kind of annoying. And I don't want to go into fake out either. Which would have been a terrible play because Sableye definitely has Encore. And that's something that we have to watch out for. Any status moves, something like that. You can Encore me into it. And this thing's just gonna be straight up screens. He's just screening up. Oh man, we don't like screens. We gotta get out of Roar Bell. So how comes. Shadow Ball doing about negative five damage and triple axle is missing. Oh man, Ambi Palm, you're so much better than that. Take your fire now, flies, and we just waste our terror. And you get a burn. Oh my lord, Ambi Palm to the dumps, man. Ambi Palm to the dumpster. Straight to the dumpster. We're gonna switch our Shadow Ball over. Actually, we'll go for Moon Blast and slide it over here. That really hurts. That really hurts. And he's gonna encore me in the Shadow Ball. Alright, I mean, that's better than Moon Blast, I suppose. Shadow Ball gonna fly here. How much damage are we doing on you? We get a crit. Okay, that's cool. That's cool with me. Triple Axle is gonna land, and Ambipom gonna pick up a KO. Cool. Alright, so Ambipom, not as useless as I, as I thought he would be. Hopefully, he just takes him out, right? But I would think he goes for Sacred Fire and the Flutter Man, right? And you go for Trailblazer. So you're looking for a little speed boost. And I actually did some damage. I don't like that. Is Burn going to KO me? Now, they got Light Screen up. They don't have Reflect, but the rest of my Pokemon are Light Screens. Chance are you going to Zamazenta here and start poking up that defense. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So now they got a pretty fast Pokemon. Um, Amy Palm's dead. We might as well go for Triple Axle and try to do some damage with Encore in the Shadow Ball. Um... Yeah, this has got to be a play. We got some speed. That's really what we have on this team. 
chat about new negative five. I wish I would have got the crit onto Entei rather than Sableye. But Triple Axel doing about three damage. One shot, one damage per hit. <laughs> and he's just going to take out my Fluttermane here. Yep, Fluttermane defense boost. All right. So he'll get the double KO. Ambi Palm just, mmm. Being rough today. Being real rough. There's a defense boost and Burn's going to take us out. But I mean, Ambi Palm is picking up some KOs. I mean, I knew it was an off meta choice and I knew it was going to be tough to win with him. But still. They did luck out with a little burn action. I feel like typing wise, they're just, I'm just going up against teams that I don't really go up against. Like, I'm so used to going up against, like, fake outs. Users like Incineroar and Robum, and we have not been seeing any of them today. When I wanted to, I want to upper hand a lot of them. So we get to bring out Weather. Um, their Sableye is dead, which is good news for us. We don't have Terra, which really sucks. Um, they do have Light Screen up as well, which is, oh man, just ugly. It's just ugly, and we're forced to kind of just attack here. We're forced to kind of attack. Blizzard really not doing much, so. I mean, we're going to go into a War Bell here. And do I go Draco Meteor? Or do I just go Fusion Flare? This Entei's a pain. We have to go into Fusion Flare. We have to go into Fusion Flare. This is this is tough. Yeah, we're not going to win this match. We're going to go into Fusion Flare, though. We're going to look to win it. Maybe we can get a crit. A little crit would be awesome. Sacred Fire going to fly here. We don't have Terra, and we survived that, which is good news. You get another burn. What is up with you in these burns? What is up with you in these burns? We get off of War Bell. Which, I mean, could help us out a little bit, but yeah, this is just... This is brutal for us. Fusion Flare coming out here. How much damage are you doing? Zama's at this bulky regardless. About half, which is solid. But now you can just go into Body Press and do that. And almost dump on me. Yeah, that wraps it up. That wraps it up. They got an Entei who's outspeeding me. He can go into whatever he wants. He can take out whoever he wants to. I would think he would take out Kirim. So we're just going to run this one. Not a bad set of battles using this off meta team. We still go one and two. Grab ourselves a win with the squad. So guys, you can't win them all. We were on a hot tear for a little bit. Going 3-0 and in back-to-back -back videos. Then I decided to switch it up. Go with an off meta team in the top 500 of Master Tier. And I ended up getting smacked around a little bit. Except for in the first match. We kind of got after it. Did some work. Then we brought Amy Palm in in match number 2. And in match number 3. Picked up a few KOs with Amy Palm. But ultimately ended up losing the matches. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button. So you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.